All right, so as you can see, we've got uh, our little piece of 2x4 here kind of worked out uh, that I'm going to use to carve this sandpiper. Uh, as I look at this, uh, you know, we just cut the block. It's about six inches. Maybe uh, I cut this one about six and a half inches long. I could probably get away with six inches, but uh, two, and that's okay. What we want to do is we've got patterns that we will trace onto this block to help us uh, as guides. So, and those patterns are going to give us two views. One, of course, is our side view from here. And then, of course, we will also look and try to get a pattern for the top view. So and it's going to basically be the same on the bottom and the top as well as the uh, both sides as we look that over. So um, you can go online. So you can see here I've kind of typed into a Google here just the term sandpiper pattern. And you'll get all sorts of different uh, patterns here uh, that you can use so if i go uh maybe kind of bring this in sandpiper uh wood carving pattern just to be a little bit more specific so you don't quite get everything that uh um, is popping up on google and you can see there's all sorts of uh, these that come up uh, that we can be using for this now i've done this for uh, so many years that i can kind of just more or less sketch this out but uh, i'm gonna have a pattern and send that pattern home for you to trace. There's a nice one right here on uh, wildflowercarving.com that I like, this out of this magazine. Um, now this is for a little bit more of a stat static type uh, sandpiper as opposed to, uh, it's a little more two dimensional with some minor carving to it as opposed to a full three dimensional, but it's still, there's a nice little pattern on there that you can kind of use um, here for uh, this rock sandpiper. So, and that'll be a good one to start with. Um, or there's all sorts of books and so forth with these uh, wood patterns that you can use as well. So, so let me go ahead and get this car, uh, drawn on here so that you can see uh, what I'm gonna do to start uh, whittling away at this and start removing material from this block. 